figure the company backed by chat gpt owner open ai and they fascinated the world by showing their figure one bot and now they have come up with their next generation of robot that is figure two robot and according to them it is the world's first commercially viable autonomous humanoid robot so i have looked at the whole web page and found out the key points so we'll be looking at that as well and we'll uh, we'll be also looking at the demo the glimpse of which you were be you were seeing over here so let's see about the bot actually if you see the dimensions of it right five feet six inch height and the weight and weight it can lift and its own weight speed and all of it are very analogous to a common man so some of you who are seeing this for the first time would ask the same question that they have mentioned over here why a human form factor so according to them they say that we have designed our world in human form for the humans so this kind of form factor will be best so it's a point some people agree and some people disagree they are coming up with this kind of a bot so they will surely show this as a benefit of it so that is that if you look at their workings right if you if you click on ai and if you go on to this web page you can see how these humanoid robots are trained so first they have a fleet of figure 2 or figure 1 bots which generate terabytes of data per day now this they filter out you know to generate training data and this from this training data they train their neural network then again this neural network is used to run this model and this cycle goes on so the bot's performance improves on and on if you scroll down you can see you now if you have watched this video where you know figure one was demonstrated here you can see the whole pipeline when you receive a speech when you ask something in speech it goes into the open ai model it does the reasoning from the images then this is sent to their neural network and to the actuators to do the task and at the same time speech is also generated so the, we saw this demo so this was about figure one but let's see the demo of figure two and there are some things that i want to show you so let's start now let's look at the details one by one right if you see the foot actually they are padded for grip and they look like shoes if you ask me let's move on you can see the actuators in the legs now if you look closely you can see three ca cameras or sensors over here and this device has sensors all over the place Now you see the dexterity, dexterity of the hands. It is something better than figure one if you ask me and closer to Optimus, Optimus dexterity because I think still Optimus dexterity is good. I think not fast as figure two. I think this has the best dexterity but at the second place I think we have the Optimus. So let's play. Now if you look closely even in the back it has sensors you know to save it from collision or maybe it can look backwards as well I don't know we get more updates we'll be able to know now if you look at this you know cloth like covering which has been given Optimus was also projected to have such something this kind of thing so we see some kinds of inspiration from other companies as well in the end we have two big cameras over here so this could be the main camera which records vision and others could be the sensors as you can see it's fourth generation 16 degrees of freedom so i'm not sure i think the optimus has 11 degrees of freedom or something like that so it's clearly better yeah as we know it has six cameras as we you know looked at the various sensors and cameras it has all over its body now what closely how it moves okay i have to tell you something yeah here it says that 3x compute onboard ai inference so some of the ai models are been run on this bot itself and also it has to be powered by the power source you know inference has to be powered by the power source so packing all of that in in this sleek form factor is actually wonderful so what i was talking about the walking is that if you watched it closely 
see it's not walking in a robotic manner i mean the legs are quite quirky but look at the hands maybe it might not need to move its hands but it moves its hands as if human do have a closer look as you can see so i think this could be something in its training data which makes it behave more closely like a human or it could be for balance as well i'm not sure but it makes it look more human if you ask me yeah one of the ai inference is the speech to speech recognition model which is on board so this is very nice if it has an on board speech to speech recognition model then it will be very fast i guess okay it has a 2.25 kilowatt so if you have not watched many of the updates that figure has been releasing past few weeks actually they have been tested and used in the bmw production line this is one of its demo have a look how it works so as they told here self correcting learned behavior you can see that it has not put the piece in correct position but now it will correct it so this was the figure one done. if you go on to the master plan right you get the inside of what they actually want to be here you can see they say they say that we see three major business opportunities in the long term first is physical labor according to them 50% of the global gdp is human labor which accounts for a whopping 42 trillion dollars so they think they can reduce this cost and actually make businesses profitable and economical but what about unemployment that is something they they would not show actually and it's obvious right now consumer also this is something we all have been fascinated right 2.3 billion households worldwide and 700 million aging population in need for at home care so now there are many people who need care 24/7 care so i think this is a very nice area where these models could be used and here they are mentioning space exploration to build new worlds you know even to do small repairs in our space stations or space telescope we have to send humans becomes very risky for them so this is something very nice i think this is something which nobody would argue that is bad or has a negative side so this is what they have come up with and figure 2 is actually very promising and i think it is very near to what i would have at my home yeah this could be a very tailored demo of this model but still its hand movements its speech recognition and speech this is seems to be very promising so what do you think about figure 2 how close are we having a pot at our home who is cleaning our dishes sweeping and mopping our floors do tell me the approximate year that you anticipate if you like this video then please do give a like thank you guys for watching